Good morning, Cubs. I'm Julie Yalmas. And I'm Jenna Martin. And this is Clayton News Network. Now to sports with Dominique Monroe. Hi, you guys. I'm going to ask you questions about basketball. So are you guys worried to play Billinghurst or worried to lose or? Okay, um, I'm not. I think our team is pretty well. Um, like we play well. And um, I feel like if we do our best, we'll win. And if we don't win, it's not the end of the world. Okay, Alex. Yeah, no matter what happens, we'll pull through. And I'm not really that worried. I think that we're all going to do our best, and hopefully we take them down. Hi, Mr. Hi, Dami. Are you, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. Are you worried about playing Billingers? No, I am not. I have total confidence in my kids. Do you think that you have a strong bond with your girls? Yes, I do. I, I actually feel really like they're, in a way, my daughters, all 12 of 24 of them. And how, Except for you. Oh, rude. I should have stopped running. How proud are you of your team? Did I ask that again? No, you didn't, but okay. I'm really proud of them. We have done so good for a year and a half, have not lost a game yet. Well, then we win or lose, I don't care, because they just, they work their heinies off. Can I say heinies on TV? Yep. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hi, Mr. Moeller. Hi, Dommy. How do you feel when your team wins a game? I feel very proud of them because I know how hard our girls have worked hard, both on 8th grade A and B. They work very hard. They are, they've committed to what we're doing. They understand that we're, we've created a culture here of hard work and being determined and hustling, and when they win, it's just... It's like the same way you feel when you know you study hard for a test and you got an A. Are you worried about losing to Billinghurst? I don't worry about losing ever. I worry about are our kids going to put out the effort they need to put out. And I'm confident that our girls are going to put out their very best effort against Billinghurst. Do you think that your girls on your team and you have a strong bond? As much as they drive me crazy with annoying questions and silly little girl stuff, you know, ah, giggling and all that. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's never you. Yes, it is. Um, I think we've got a strong bond. And, and more important than a strong bond between coaches and the girls is the girls with each other. Is they're, they're, sisters. They're, they're like sisters. They've created a bond with each other that... Not only is it on the court, and you can see that they, they start knowing each other's moves and what they're really great at. They also see you, you see that off the court. You see them hanging out together and um, cross teams. We're starting to see them hang out, you know, from one academic team to another, and it's really neat to see. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, my sister. Hello, sweetheart. So I'm going to ask you a few questions about your basketball team. Okay. So, who was the hardest competition for you out of all the teams you guys have played? Well, we None of them have. None? We have been winners all the way. We yeah. have not had a tough team yet. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, something. What's your favorite basketball team that's pro? Lakers. The Lakers? Yes. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> And do you think that you have a close bond with your girls on the team? Yeah, I do. And I think I had a stronger one when they were in seventh grade and I was more of a mother figure. And I had them with me all the time, but they've grown up. They're doing a lot more things independently. They know each other well. We have a lot of members that were on the team last year that are on the team this year, so they know each other. And so, no, I don't think, I think it's more of a coach now than it was from last year. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Sutherland. I'm going to ask uh, you a few I'm questions. Hi, Monroe. So, would you say your team is good, or how do you feel about that? Our team is great. Okay. How do you prepare your team for With your game? Practice, practice, practice. Mostly defense. How about that? What's your favorite basketball team? It's pro. Yeah. Uh, I'm always 
been a Celtic fan. How's that? They're not any good this year. They stink. But they're still my favorite team. And what does your team need to work on? Our team always needs to work on defense. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Mendelssohn. Hi. Oh, just look there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How would you prepare your team before a game? Uh, we work really hard. And, uh, the best preparation is just get in their face, yell at them, scream at them, kick them when they're on the ground, spit in their face, make sure they know what's going on before they go on the court. Because if they don't know what's going on, I look bad, and I don't want to look bad. I love my girls. They're really sweet, and they've worked really hard, and they've come a long way this season. I'm really proud of them. And how proud are you of I just told you, and I gotta yell at you. I just said I was really proud of them. They're great kids. They work hard. Yes. Okay, thank you. We've come up with some winter break activities for you to do. What do you plan on doing over winter break? Swimming. Not sleeping. Sleep. What are you going to do over winter break? Sleep. A lot. No, just kidding. I'm gonna play with my kids. Looking forward to that. Cool. For winter break, I'm just going to be at my house, kind of sleeping and eating. So, what do you plan on doing over winter break? I'm going to go to the beach, have fun. Going to the beach? Yeah. In the winter? I don't know. I thought that would be great snow weather. Oh. On winter break, I'm going to go in Arizona. Lastly, what do you plan on doing over winter break? Acting fabulous as ever and open Christmas presents. What am, I, what am I gonna do over winter break? I'm gonna go up to the mountain, I'm gonna snowboard, then I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna, well, sleep, of course. And I'm gonna do all those teenage things. <laughs> Probably just relaxing, playing with my friends, hanging out with my friends. Right. Oh, snow, shoveling driveways. What are you going to do over winter break? Uh, Probably, <laughs> probably throw snowballs at the boys. Jump in some snow, make some snow angels, you know. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Sleep, hibernate, get there. What are you gonna do over winter break? Probably gonna open presents and then get food. But before I eat my yummy food, I'm gonna Instagram a picture of it, because you know. I'm probably gonna sleep and eat food. Family and around my cousins and gathering time with them. I am going to be with my family and my, some of my distant relatives. That's it. Um, so we are probably just going to hang out and sleep and depending on if we're going on a vacation or something, we'll probably be like in Squaw Valley. That's what my dad told me. Hi, my name is Sharice Rasmussen and I'm the team up coordinator for Clayton Middle School. I'm Paul. And I'll be asking her about what Team Up is doing during winter break. So first question, what are exactly what exactly are you going to be doing during winter break? So Team Up is going to be holding during the third week of winter break, um, which is January 6th through the 10th. We're holding program, and program will run from 8:30 to 1:30 every day, Monday through Friday, for that third week, not the first and second week. And remember, say what you want to say. Let the words fall out. Honestly, I, I want to see you be brave. brave. Have a good day, Cubs.